So today I'm making a first aid kit for your dolls. Uh, this was a request from a billion years ago. Again, one of those requests I was talking about. I could not find the person who requested it. So thanks if you're still watching. Uh, if you like this craft, please subscribe. And if you make it, tag me on Instagram and I'll totally come check it out. Uh, and one final tidbit, a lot of you guys uh, ask. And so I thought I'd just tell you that yes, I do have a daughter. Uh, I just one kid and she's 10 and she loves dolls. Uh, and she plays with most things that I make. So I have to kind of reorganize everything uh, when I shoot my videos. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, and finally kids, do be sure and ask your parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. So to make this little first aid kit and these accessories, I start by printing out the printables. You can access them by clicking on the link in the description section. And the medicine bottles I print on regular paper and here with the first aid kit and band-aid, I print it on cardstock just so it's a bit more durable. I cut them out, score all of the lines except this little top section and fold all of the lines again, except that little top section. Then I cut my tabs and glue them inside. And then I can fold back the other side and glue those tabs as well. So it's just two half open boxes that are still attached. Then I glue just a piece of paper to the top, which will allow me to open and close my um, kit. Then I cut out another thin strip of cardstock. I measure out consistent lines, score them, and then fold on those lines, folding it into a handle for my case, which I then glue to the top. Then I cover it in glossy Mod Podge for shine, being careful as I cover the red, not to use too much so that my red doesn't smear. Then I apply glue to my bottom and side tab on my band-aid package. And for my hydrogen peroxide bottle, I take my brown strip, cutting off a little bit of the end to use later. I wrap the wider section around a dowel. As I wrap it, the top will become more narrow. Then I cut out a bit of white craft foam paper and the remaining brown paper. I glue the white craft foam to the top and the brown to the bottom. And I do the same thing with my pill bottle, just using blue craft foam paper, which I've painted with nail polish for the top. And for my dropper, just using hot glue on parchment paper. And I can manipulate it by flipping it over and then using more parchment paper to kind of drag it out and uh, thin it out along the bottom. And I can blow on it to speed up that process. I just trim the end. And I'm also trimming the other side, the flattened side, and adding more hot glue. And this may take a few attempts. And then again, just kind of twirling it around and manipulating it to give it a nice smooth top. And to make my band-aids, I'm using an actual band-aid. I cut off a section. I peel away the paper that comes with it, and then I'm just adding a piece of white paper to act as the center part of a band-aid. Then I cut the paper that came with the band-aid in half and reattach. And so I have a little bit of space there in the middle like a regular band-aid. And then I'm just trimming it into four band-aids and shape into a band-aid shape. I fold a piece of paper in half, making sure that one side there's a little bit of room so that my band-aid will poke out. I can line up my band-aid, add just the tiniest amount of glue. You want a really thin line so your band-aids will fit back in. I carefully press down without smearing the glue everywhere. And then I can push in and you can see where your glue is and you can cut on those lines. and I can insert my band-aids and place them in the box. And with a leftover band-aid, I'm pulling off the fuzzy section and I'll use that as my gauze. 
Then I fold the rest of the band-aid in half. Trim as needed. And I can wrap it up for the cloth material that you often find in first aid kits. Then I'm just trimming that fuzzy stuff from the band-aid. Fold over and tape. And for my thermometer, I'm just shaping white craft foam paper. Then I paint the top blue, the bottom silver, and glue a little bit of black cardstock to the center. I add my supplies. And you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys!